What's going on YouTube, I'm here. Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. Let's get straight into it. What mission am I going to go to first? Um, I've got to go there at some point. Uh, I've got to do this at some point. Now I've got to there at some point. Okay, let's start by doing my cut. See what I end up after that. I'll see you in the air, guys. You ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk. And they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out, and he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates.
thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! Trust you! 
revenge mission. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Those tapers. This way. Come on. I was holding down next to keep up the speed of him, but somehow I hit the tree and it went all ticked up from there. Alright, oh, at least Cornwall was dead. Social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's that. more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch. It won't be long before they find out we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. 
And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. Well, that was fun. A little bit on open, on open mail. I guess I don't next. Where are my horses there? My friend Swanson. Oh, camp's only just here. Okay, so I've got to actually head to the mail first because I need to get down. on. Where even is the nearest station? I ain't even popped up yet. Alright. Let's get my horse and head back to camp for now. I need some ammo. Yep. I think my heavy tempy horse is back. I need to get some supplies. Right, where's the ledger thing? I'm not sure I will shave. Trim. Select. So, uh, what's the ledger? Where are you? Well, no ledger of this camp then. Map. Guess not then. Okay. Map. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna head down there, get a mail real quick, and come back and do the reverence mission. Right. See you in a sec, guys. I'll start recording again when I get to there to get the letter, and then when I get back to the reverend one. And that's the bit of mission I'll do next. Sleeve, sir. 
I really can't afford to get sick again this month. Why don't you just do your job? Uh, of course, sir. Sorry. It's just a polite request is all. That a fellow try to pass off some jerky as his ticket. You believe that? for your assistance. Okay, boy. Let's go. Actually, I think I'm going to go do something else. Still doing that. I want to get some of these other ones done. I kind of want to head there. Get that done. See what she wants and find a way back up to to these. No stage coaches. I can get there quickly. Why not? Take all I. I got idea. That's one of them girls. Horse will follow me. And they're a stage coach here. Okay, so I'll get a train then. You just left. You alright? Oh, where's the quickest way to which one's the quickest closest to it? Roads, okay. I couldn't bother to ride my horse all the way down there to come all the way back up. Let's get a stage coach back up to my horse, and my horse is still there, so.
most is this? Wait. Hey, boy. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Well, that's, uh, that should take not too long to get down there now. Start recording when I get there, guys. Hang on, how far am I? What is? Yeah, that was there. Hang on, how far am I? Should take too, too, too long to get there. No, I'll only just stand there. Take a couple minutes at least. Place on fire. No, it's just lights. It goes on fire or something from a distance then. Or 
charge of guns? Get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little? Just to the first stop? Fine. Tickets to San Denis, please, sir. Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. Good to see you. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, you. With pleasure, you goddamn spirit. You want to come back here without giving you a whip? We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Paul. Go to your wall. Cross the line. Four fists and maybe one brain between you. You're going to get hurt, cowboy. Get him, Scott. Or you. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? <laughs> my uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Well, how do I? Oh, my lord. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, you keep your heads down. And I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from all time. You must have all the jewels in the state. They
Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. Show a drive all the way through now. What's the bridge gonna blow up? Oh, station just there. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That brave white treasure. You know what? I'm gonna send this one. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more your relatives show up. That might be wise. <laughs> hey, you there? Yeah. This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, you carry protection on a journey like this? I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! <laughs> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until her out. Mm -hmm. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Huh? You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! That was kind of fun. Right, where am I now? Map. Right, all the way over here. At least I can get a stagecoach back to where I need to go. Well, 
What's that now? What are doing next? What's that one there? Wait, where's the money one gone? Was there? Was there that one over there? I had to get money from or something. I'm pretty sure I had a few stop off things today on the way. I've got some stuff to do, I don't mind. Hey, what's that? I don't mind uh, doing them. Oh, a new item there. I'm actually going to Emerald Ranch on the stagecoach. So I can do these one there. Do that and then that. Stop there and turn left, okay. completely wrong way. Left and then right, okay. So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure, wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> Your likeness taken? Go then! Go, go! Yeah. <laughs> A 
Let's make you all famous. We'll move it up. Keep moving. Go on. Look pretty doing it. Now run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, for a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Boy! If you ain't one of Con's boys, you're not welcome here. We see you over there. Now back off real slow. You know what? You got me curious. I can't just leave it like that. I'm bored of this. Just... <laughs>
Okay there. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them, just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please, I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Form up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, may as well protect the payment. Probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know. Let's get that one here. Yep. I'm not even going the right way. Damn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general. When I lost it. Oh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. 
I'll bear that in mind. Okay. Looks like we're not so ready. Shouldn't be a shootout on this one. Okay, boy. Yeah. down there. Oh, no, that's it. Gotcha. Come here. Calm down. Damn it. Come on. Playing the horse on my game. Take my top horse with the play ball. We'll go for a walk. Or number two.
good man, Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> for him but a snake that spooked him. You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Ouch. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. The young boy went into battle with me. Got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt. Fish! Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor cool fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of a craze run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. That's that one done. Alright. Then I'm on the for me. That's not it. But I'm gonna do whatever the next time I'd probably end of you and do that. So I'm going next, it shouldn't take too long to get there. Give me a second guys. No worries. I'm go now. Um, yeah, it's just a Reverend Swanson mission. Dutch went and killed Cornwall and Anna's partner. This will be bad, John. Shit. Yeah. I'm worried he's coming unstuck. Okay, guess I'll leave you do it then. Take care. <coughs> Reverend? You okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in... Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderland, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? 
The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us. Without well, adding army to the list. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man. Le Lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion. Now. Oh, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more spoor. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Set out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board her. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened.
side. Quietly. You try not to kill anyone, Arthur. I need a smoke. Quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. <laughs> so it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. For 
Oh, no, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Captain. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? I just can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's it's not my fight. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behavior. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. I was I meant to do the other one then. Yep. Oops. One's there, Michael, I think. Yep. Sadie. Let's do the micro mission next. Is that way for to be easier? What's up, boobs? Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? <laughs> Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Was that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. You take it easy. And you could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, why both my horses here? He's done it again to me. Might as well stable that other one. Oh, the stable's just over there as well. Okay, cool. I'll do that when I can. Right, let's get on with this. says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. 
A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head on. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. Come from that way. Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you you're the better actor. No, you play dead and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs>
reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. But it should to us. Dark butt. Look. There's Mike up ahead. Great. Whoa! So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. you go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said. Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. How the hell did my horse end up over there, man? Oh, I'll just stay with it. I don't know how that happened. It's happened a few times now. Both my horses in there together. Yep. Oh, hang on, what mission am I going to do next? Uh, let's quit. Uh, that one's over here. That's a different boss name, isn't it? I'll probably do one more mission and then cut the video out for today, guys. I'll see you in the next part in the video. I got my horses back, that's one thing. Um, missions I've got to do. I'm gonna try and get one more. Hang on. Let's do this one here because I'm already here anyway. I want my set at one point. Was, uh, leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir, how can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Fields John Hurt, is has it? agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more What's times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind. They're colloquial. Ah, 
Perhaps we could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. William, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me? Charles, I got you. I saved your life. Do it for me. Sure. Come on. I one guy sounds like Leonard Des Moines. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Kind of. for very much but when our people are sick and hungry and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld how can we not view that as something personal how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things because they want you to fight to be able to say look you see how these savages behave uh, perhaps there's an army captain Lyndon Monroe, who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Captain Monroe, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are 
little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Let me deliver. Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shall. Get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Kill you. Let's try. Get off me.
What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man. Like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have so far, please have it. We're about to start with all that content. I think I've almost completed the game, so... Well, it feels like it's coming to an end anyway. I'm going to start off the next video in a bit. Probably by doing that mission over here. And I can find a way up to there, to do that. Get that done. And over to there. I might do that before I do the mission of John, though. I know you guys who just did it. It's like I said, don't hit my case, you're about to step down. More content. Take care, guys. Peace out. Enjoy your evening.